Hello everyone, this is Ding Ting with Xinhua News Agency. Welcome to Xinhua Live. So today I'm reporting in a manufacturing shop of a tech company located in Baoshan District, north of Shanghai. So today we will witness how the architectural landscape made from the raw material. The guest of who will accompany with us today is Zhang Yu. He is the CEO of Kuying Tech. Hi Zhang Yu. Hi, Hi morning. Hi. Uh, so first, uh, as we have come to the manufacturing shop here, so can you give us a brief introduction about here? Oh, I will introduce the whole manufacturing shop here, and we are printing a uh, uh, five meters long uh, landscape seats here, and uh, it's already printed for 40 hours, and uh, it will take uh, uh, several hours to finish it. What kind of material yeah. is it used to print? Uh, we are using uh, ASC with glass fiber here and it will be a very strong materials and it will be very uh, suitable for the outdoors using and uh, you can see that uh, this material is printing here for a very uh, high temperature. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yes, and how long has it takes to uh, print like half of the device? The yeah, half. Uh, mm -hmm. it, it has it has already printed last for forty hours, mm -hmm. and will take uh, another twenty hours okay. to finish it, and uh, so it uh, will take uh, like sixty yeah, sixty five hours okay. yeah to finish. It. So it looks like a, a seat in the like in the park. Yeah. Right. So I'm quite curious about what kind of material can be used for the three D printing in our workshop. Oh, uh, we we can print these materials for the autos using for the uh, landscape architecture using and we have all, also has a, a, a lot of materials to use uh, like PC with uh, carbon fiber, like PER with carbon fiber and like PPS with carbon fiber. It will cover the different temperature used uh, from the 80 degrees used and uh, to, to the 200 degrees used. Mm -hmm. So different, uh, different materials we're using different uh, kind of uh, fields. Yeah, that's. Uh, we use this this materials uh, to print uh, uh, to print uh, uh, furnitures and uh, the uh, the uh, architecture parts, and mm -hmm. we use other materials to, to print uh, the industrial mold. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and uh, some materials is used into make the automobile parts mm -hmm. like this. Yeah. Yes. So when the robo machine is printing, so how is the temperature? Uh, this uh, this uh, robot and uh, uh, this print head can um, uh, can work in the uh, four, 420 degrees mm -hmm. and uh, uh, this uh, this working uh, temperature is about 300. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, I noticed that there is another uh, applications uh, in our manufacturing shop. Yeah. Uh, like in that corner, I noticed the blue one. Uh, it looks like a uh, furniture or something. Yeah. Uh -huh. uh, it, it's, a, it's a small chair uh, made by our machines and it, uh, it printed very uh, very fast. Mm -hmm. uh, in two hours we can make one chair oh. and it, it, has a, it has a very very big use of, uh, use of in the uh, furniture and mm -hmm. di different uh, designs of uh, these types. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So can I try it on? Yeah. Is it stable yeah. enough? <laughs> yeah, welcome. Cool. Okay, it's a chair. Ah, oh, yeah. okay. Very it stable. Will be very, very simple. Yeah. Oh, okay. So compared with the traditional, uh, like the mass production, so what yeah. is the advantages of our like three D printing? Uh, this was uh, several points. That the first is that we can uh, make the designs uh, more freedom. Yeah, so we can uh, we can uh, overcome the, the limited of the designs. Mm -hmm. You can design a lot of complicated 
complicated things that uh, you're thinking and uh, we can print it. And uh, other, uh, other, on the other hand, we can reduce uh, the complicated production uh, process. Uh, let's move to that part. So yeah. I noticed that may be the raw material that yeah. made for the uh, 3D printing. Yeah, this our this our raw materials. That yeah, you can see that it it is like uh, like some rice and uh, yeah, we we are we are using that pellet instead of filaments that you can uh, make it uh, more lo low cost and uh, it will be more cheaper than the mm -hmm. filament printing materials. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, so the raw material is made in China? Yeah, uh -huh. the raw material is made by ourselves and mm -hmm. developed by ourselves. And I noticed that the weight of the each bag is 25 kilogram. kilogram. Yeah. Uh, and uh, like that kind of the seat, yeah. so how many bags were it used? Uh, like this seat, it is about uh, 100 kilograms, so the four oh, bags, four yeah, bags. Make, make oh. materials can make like one seat. Okay, yeah. okay. Okay, uh, yeah. I noticed that in that corner we have other, other uh, Application, some applications. Yeah. So, uh, can you introduce some of them? Mm. Yeah, we have, we have two many, uh, many fields that we are using our 3D printing. Uh, technologies. Mm. The first is that uh, the architecture and the school field, and uh, the another important thing is that we are using our technology to make the industrial mode. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that this industrial mode can stand a lot of uh, a very high temperature to make the parts that you what you want. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we are using our uh, technology to make industrial mode in the uh, ship field field and. Yeah, and uh, yeah, I noticed some of them yeah. uh, is like this is the three D printing, printing ship. ship. Yeah, so it's about a, a ship building, and uh, some of them is the this is the, the battery fast mode. mode. Yeah. Okay. So and this is for the uh, like the auto manufacturing. Yeah, auto belt manufacturing. We're also oh, this using one's very it cool. to yeah to make the raising. Oh, racing seat yeah. mode, okay. And uh, the another beauty is that we are using our technology to make the human uh, aircraft, uh -huh. yeah, skin mode. Skin mode. Yeah. So it's for the like the aerospace. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So this this mode can stand a very high temperature, uh, uh, like, like in two hundred degrees, oh. yeah, centigrade. Okay. Yeah. Our our key our key technology in this uh, mode is that we have a very very high temperature um, range. Yeah, mm -hmm. uh, high temperature materials, mm -hmm. and uh, we use uh, we use a very large uh, machines. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, for make make this mode, we use a, a ten meters machines uh, to make this uh, mode, and that uh, uh, there will be a. Uh, very uh, different t technology to make high temperature uh, 3D printing mode. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So how is how is this kind of product sale? The UAV uh, industry uh, market is mm -hmm. very fast in China. Mm -hmm. That uh, uh, we make a, a lot of different uh, aircraft in China. So that uh, marketing is grew very fast and. Uh, 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 more and more uh, manufacturing uh, things that using the 3D mode it will be a, a better choice mm -hmm. uh, than the traditional manufacturing mm -hmm. because you can get the uh, mode more cheaper mm -hmm. and uh, uh, more faster. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and with the very good quality. Yeah. Okay, so let's move to the that that, that two devices. Yeah. So what is this one? Uh, this this is a small sample of our three D printing lens screw bridge. Mm -hmm. We have a uh, printer three uh, large lens screw bridge in China. The one is in Shanghai, and the mm -hmm. uh, one is in Fujian, and the mm -hmm. uh, one is in Sichuan. Mm -hmm. That it's a small sample of that that you can imagine that to make it larger uh, in twenty meters. Mm -hmm. That will be our. 
a truly printed bridge. Mm -hmm. But you can a uh, feeling oh, uh, okay. understand that okay. you can, yeah. It, yeah, it's it has, quite stable. Uh, yeah, very stable and, and strong. And I can jump, jump yeah, on strong, it. Just strong strength on uh, this bridge and mm -hmm. uh, uh, the the most uh, the earliest bridge we are printed in five years ago. So uh, you can see mm -hmm. that it will be a very uh, stand long mm -hmm. uh, printing part. Yeah. Okay. So just uh, beside the bridge, yeah. uh, some part of the bridge is a, a very long seat, yeah. and it is estimated that like five to ten people can yeah. be seated one time on this seat. Yeah. So I know uh, some of like this kind of seat already been used in some of the uh, parks in Shanghai. Yeah. Okay. So let's have yeah, a seat. We can, we can. Yeah, we can sit here. Uh huh. Uh, so compared with the. Uh, foreign enterprises. So what do you think uh, our advantage is? Uh, you know that uh, uh, in these years that uh, China uh, has overcome the, a lot of technology program in the ad additive manufacturing and truly that we are believing that uh, the additive manufacturing will be the uh, direction of the future, uh, mani of future, yeah, future manufacturing. Mm -hmm. In the future. Yeah. Okay, so you so, are quite confident about it. Yeah, so uh, for our company, uh, Shanghai Clean Technology, uh, we are instead on uh, to develop and research our own technology in hardware, software, mm -hmm. and materials. So we are very instant on to hold the, all the technology in our hands, and so we can uh, make the uh, manufacturing uh, field in China better yeah okay so as Zhang Yu has mentioned that uh, several 3d printing landscape has already applied in some of the uh, parks in Shanghai so now we are going to get one of them stay in two and uh, see you later have joined the live. This is uh, Xinhua Live and I'm Ding Ting with Xinhua. Um, today we have an exploring tour about the 3D painting. Uh, here we come to a mini park in Putuo district, Shanghai. In the first part of live today, uh, we have come to the uh, Kuin Tech, a local 3D printing uh, company uh, come to their manufacturing shop. And now we come to the mini park on Da Du He Road, Putuo district. So here we can see the uh, seat just uh, made by the Ku Ying yeah. and uh, they are uh, settled here. This is the um, mailing park, uh, park and this project is start from the uh, middle of the last year and uh, it uh, takes about uh, three months and uh, we have three sets of the seats here and uh, every set can uh, uh, sit for the five uh, to eight people and so uh, you can see that in this park uh, yeah mm. uh, I think the style of the seat is uh, quite a nice look it yeah. looks like a mountain, yeah. <laughs> some mountains, and also looks like the cloud. Yeah, the, the, uh, uh, the meaning of this, this, uh, this city is that the mountain sea. Ah. Yeah, that is stand for okay. this, uh, uh, this styles, and uh, uh, that it using our 3D uh, printing technology to make it, and every piece it takes about uh, uh, 30, 30 hours to mm -hmm. print and uh, uh, you can see that uh, every piece uh, can yeah you mm -hmm. can uh, get every piece very quick for the project yeah mm -hmm. in Shanghai 80 pocket parts like where we are now have been built or renovated and the number will be raised to 1000 in the following five years according to the authorities so as the residents here so we all think this is a very good news for all the people living here yeah there will be a, a lot of uh, 
呃乌邦 Renew Project in Shanghai is going on, and in uh, 2023 we can see that it's more than 200 projects in Shanghai is going on uh, uh, for the lens group part. So we think our 3D printing part will uh, be have a very big market here, and uh, we can see that we our pre 3D print part can make the uh, city more beautiful and uh, uh, make uh, make that uh, uh, the people can use the uh, the park uh, uh, good yeah mm -hmm. and uh, just uh, right over there we can see another two set of the architectural yeah. uh, landscape is it also made by queen yeah it's also made by us and uh, it's a very long part uh, more than 10 meters and it is print uh, uh, in uh, about uh, uh, six, six, 16 hours and uh, you can see it, uh, it has a, a different style mm -hmm. with other three seats. Yes. Is this the same one we have just uh, uh, set on in a company? Is uh, it the no. same one? No, no, oh. no. It's, it's uh, longer, bigger? Yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a longer one and mm -hmm. uh, yeah, it's printed in piece and uh, you can see that it, uh, uh, five or six meters uh, parts can print in one uh, process. Yeah. Mm. Yes, the 3D printing technology company we visit today is also the representative of many small and micro enterprises in China. So behind the expanding business and orders are the best footnotes of the China's economy recovery and the increasing vitality and the creativity of the enterprises. Um, so um, which other cities in China or which other parks in Shanghai have such kind of similar landscape sketches? Uh, we also have other uh, parts in Shanghai, other uh, parking uh, not not only in the Puto province, mm -hmm. and, uh, uh, yeah, Puto, Puto district, district mm -hmm. and also in the Jing'an and in the Puto mm -hmm. district, and we also have a lot of project in other uh, so in, the, in Sichuan mm -hmm. and uh, in the Fujian and okay. also in the Shandong. Yeah. Okay. So you have a lot of applications, actually. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It never occurs to me that the application of the 3D printing has been that much, not only in the industrial manufacturing, but also in our daily life. And it is true that the 3D printing can release the freedom of designers, just as you said, and but also meet the harmonious coexistence of architecture, human and nature. I think that's maybe the magic of the science. So uh, thank you for taking your time. So as Chinese New Year is quite approaching, so wish you all the best. Yeah. And uh, wish you all the luck all year through. Yeah. Happy, okay. Happy New Year. Yes. Thank you. Yes. Yeah. So that's all for today. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Yeah. Thank you.